welcome back to another planner video. Today we are doing a pretty different planner video and something I've been wanting to do for a while because if you do not know, if you did purchase the Erin Condren and most other planners, um, they're normally from July to June, so kind of like the, I guess, school calendar, I think that's what they call it. But most of the time, um, that's what people get. Um, some people do do from January to December like normal, but with my Erin Condren's, I normally purchase a new one in July, starting in July, and this one here that I got from Michaels, which is the Recollections Planner, starts in July as well. So it is actually the first week of July when we are watching this video. This is actually going up on the 1st of July, so if any Canadians are watching this, I hope you're having an amazing um, Canada Day. And if you are American, I wish you an amazing 4th of July or Independence Day. But anyways, we're going to get right into this video. You guys can tell by the title that we are kind of comparing two very popular planners. One being the Erin Condren Life Planner and the other being the Recollections Planner from Michaels. Both of these are very similar and I'm actually going back and forth whether I wanted to use the Recollections this year or stick with my Erin Condren. Erin Condren did make a few changes to the planner this year that I wasn't too happy with, so I wanted to try out the recollections. So basically what I've done is actually earlier today, I did a spread in both of these planners and then we're going to be going through all of the differences between the two and kind of which one I ended up preferring in the end, which I'm really excited to share with you guys which one I prefer. But most likely I will be going back and forth between the two, but I do wanna share kind of which one I did prefer and that sort of thing, judging on a bunch of different criteria. So we're first going to do just a little um, kind of run through of both of them. So we're going to first look at the Erin Condren Life Planner. And I'm kind of gonna show you guys or tell you guys all of the like pros and cons to both of them. So this is the Erin Condren Life Planner. The one pro that I absolutely love about the Erin Condren Life Planner is that they have removable um, front covers and their front covers are also customizable so you can get your name on there. So this is the one that I got. It's just like a really pretty rainbow wreath of flowers and I just got Jen Rose in the center. One thing about this that's kind of negative is that I did purchase this with white as the background. I don't know if they couldn't do white or what, but I did choose white as the background and then black as the Jenna Rose. And unfortunately, I don't know if you guys can see, but it came in this like peachy color. Not really sure. And on the back, you also have that peachy color in the background, but a full thing of the flowers. So that was just one little negative there. I didn't, you know, complain or anything. Just figured it was fine. And it wasn't that big of an issue, but it's one little thing there. And then also a positive about the Erin Condren is that you can get them in different coil colors. So this year I chose a black before I've had a rose gold. I've also had a gold and I've also had the just platinum, which does not cost anything. Speaking of cost, I will say that one of the negatives to the Erin Condren is that it is pretty expensive. They retail for, I believe, $60 now and then getting different color coils do make it a little bit more expensive. So I'm pretty sure this one was $60 plus $10 to get the black coil. If you just get the platinum, which is silver coil, then that's no additional cost. Um, but I did choose to get the black, which cost an additional $10, I believe. But this is it right here. This is what it looks like. I'm sorry about these like little shadows here. Those are from my tripod, but Really, really love the Erin Condren. I've been using the Erin Condren for about five years now, four years maybe. And I do really, really love it. And they made a few different changes this year. Their paper seems pretty similar to what they had last year. Um, I will say that I feel like it's a little bit less white, almost a little bit off-white. I will compare it to the Recollections Planner, but the Recollections paper is a little bit more of a bright white rather than like this. It is still very white, but just more of an off-white. And they do have some really, really cute pages there. And I love the color scheme that, that they used with the neutral, which is another positive thing about the Erin Condren is they do have a bunch of different layouts and stuff. I will talk about that with the Recollections later because they come out with some pretty cool layouts and stuff. But with this one, I did pick the neutral and 
they can get it or you can get it in colorful and stuff like that. So this is the first little area here. Like I mentioned, this does start in July and you do have two full pages here of notes pages. So these two kits are available in my shop. I have this notes page right here that covers the entire page and then I have this notes page here. This is note page A and this is B. This one covers most of the things that they give you here and I just think it looks really, really gorgeous and gives you a nice themed background for what you wanna use that for. And then also another positive thing about the Erin Condren is that a lot of shops do actually make kits specifically meant to fit this layout. So the Erin Condren, the Recollections Planner is slightly different in their sizing on their monthlies. So I would definitely say that's a little bit of a negative thing, but I also make monthly kits for the Erin Condren and maybe in the future I will make something a little bit more simplistic that can be used both in the Erin Condren and in the Recollections, but for now we're just sticking with the one size. And then this is the first week in the Erin Condren planner. This actually looks completely different than when it first um, looks. This is what it first looks like, and this is where a lot of the negative things start coming in with the Erin Condren. This is pretty different than what I had last year. I actually did decide to get the colorful Erin Condren last year, which I really did love. The only thing with that was it did have the colors up here, which sometimes didn't match the spread that I was doing, and it just didn't end up looking that great. But with the neutral, thankfully you don't get any of that color up there. So once you do cover up all of the colors that you do um, have there, you can't like see anything up here, Let's see? You can't see anything up at the top or anything like that. So that is definitely a pro, but a few negatives when it comes to their weekly kits or weekly spreads. Obviously the things that I'm talking about are negative to me personally. This is not like a negative thing to everyone. The things that I'm saying are negative might be positive to you. So definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think of it. But one of the negatives is I'm not a huge fan of the circle here. Not a huge fan of that. I'm also not a huge fan of them putting these all the way down at the bottom. They used to just cut off here and then you just had those light lines at the bottom, which were easy to just white out or just put stickers over top. Um, washi tape is my main concern um, when putting stuff down here is the darker lines actually show underneath washi. So most of the time you do have to white those out which is fine, but something that you don't actually have to do in the Recollections Planner, which I will get to after. But yes, the other thing is the dark lines down here. I believe they used to be dotted all the way around, but they made them solid this year. And I'm not the hugest fan of it. It just looks a little bit dark. You guys can see here, there's like just lines. If you don't put a box, you can see those lines. And some people may like that. I'm not a huge fan of it, so that's definitely a negative there. It just kind of like constricts everything, I guess. But another, um, it may be a positive to you, it may be a negative. I kind of haven't decided if this is a negative or a positive, but they actually added a little monthly calendar down here. I actually don't mind it, it's kind of nice. And I think it'd look really, really cute if you just highlighted which week that is in the months, you can kind of see it um, on a bigger scale when it comes to looking at the month. So that's kind of cool and I do really like that, but some people might find that negative because this used to be just all lined before. And I believe that is pretty much everything when it came to negative for the Erin Condren. The paper is still very, very nice. Like I mentioned, it's just a little bit more off-white than before, I feel, maybe not, not sure. And then the last little positive thing about these is that the dates up here can be covered. So normally with Erin Condren like spreads and sticker kits, they do come with date covers and the date covers do cover up these um, dates up here. Obviously you can white it out, but sometimes I do just keep it like this. I do really like that they did change it to just be black this year. I don't know if it was black in the neutral last year, but I know that they were colored in the, were they colored in the colorful? 
not 100% sure if they were, but I do like that they're all black, so you don't really have to change them up if you don't use day covers and stuff like that. But another thing that I want to mention when it came to planning here is I actually put the tape, the um, Simply Washi tape, all the way up to the top of this here with the hexagon. And I would definitely recommend just putting the washi tape up to the line underneath the hexagon and then working your way up because I ended up having to use these foxes. I don't usually use the ombre heart checklist. It's not really my planning style anymore. I really do like more white space. So you guys will see with the spread in the recollections planner, I use like just normal checklists and I was going to use them in this spread, but unfortunately I had to put these because some of the like curved edges up here were showing so I had to cover them up some way because I couldn't um, white them out because my white out is like yellow compared to this so I need to get some new white out for sure but yes I believe that is everything for the Erin Condren I just wanted to quickly show you guys this is kind of what the notes page kits look like or the notes pages before you put kits over top of them if you do choose to do kits what they look like you obviously can just utilize this just as it is and functionally and this here is the monthly spread so it's very simplistic a lot more simplistic than before i would like with this to have some lines on the outside but they kind of made it open which is fine because i do use stickers in the monthly and then moving to the back i did want to show you guys quickly they have some really cute notes pages at the back, which I love. Absolutely love this right here. We have like a little hexagon spread and I've seen some really, really cute spreads using this, putting months on each of the hexagons and stuff like that. And then you also have this little contacts page there as well. You have the 2021, so that's like way far in advance. And then you have these stickers, which definitely have had an upgrade since last year's. These are beautiful. You have some silver foil there. You have some rose gold foil here. And then you also have some silver there and then rose gold again. So they didn't include any gold foil, but that's fine. I actually do prefer rose gold and silver to gold. So yes, that is everything for the Erin Condren. I believe I got all of the pros and cons to that. We will be coming back to this when I bring in the recollections after, and we're gonna go through um, who wins in each category. So that is everything for the Erin Condren Life Planner. Okay, so we are now moving into the recollections planner. I'm sorry about the glare. This cover is a little bit lighter than the other one, so it does catch the light quite a bit on my ceiling, but this cover is beautiful. Um, Michaels does carry a ton of different styles of the Recollections Planner. That's one of the pros about the Recollections Planners. They actually have a ton of different like aesthetics, if that made sense. This one it was very like neutral on the inside. It just had a little bit of color and absolutely my style. It had like the natural colors, a little bit of pink, a little bit of this dark gray, and I loved it. I went through a ton of different ones with different color schemes, different styles, and I feel like they have a inner aesthetic to all of them that would suit a lot of people. So that was definitely a positive for the Recollections planners. They obviously are a lot less expensive than Erin Condren. They are, I believe I got mine for about $30, and then I also got I believe 40% off. So I ended up getting this for like less than $20, which is amazing and such a good thing if you are on a budget when it comes to planning. So that's definitely a good thing about the Recollections Planner. It's a lot cheaper. Um, you cannot get any other coils. I don't remember seeing any other colors. I believe they're all just this gold color, which is totally fine because I absolutely love the gold coil. They are a little bit thinner than the Erin Condren coils, which is fine. I didn't have any issues or I haven't had any issues with this so far, but obviously I haven't used it for an entire year. So that I would say is fine. We'll see. Um, and then the other bad thing about the recollections or a con would be that they are not removable. I'm pretty sure you could make these removable, to be honest with you. You could just go in and make slits. I actually think I did one there to see if I could do it, but you would just need to make slits in all of the coil things there, and then it would easily just come off, and then you could use an Erin Condren interchangeable cover. So 
Yes, but I think I'm going to be leaving this one on just because I love this so much. So many beautiful things on the horizon. I just think it is a beautiful, beautiful cover. And we are going to get right into this planner. So the center here just has a very similar kind of look to the Erin Condren where it has a whited out center so you can maybe draw things in there. And then the aesthetic of this is definitely a lot more simplistic, but definitely a lot more my style. That's because I was able to choose one that was a little bit more my style. I know that a lot of people love the Erin Condren one and they keep generally a pretty similar aesthetic throughout their years, um, which is awesome. But this is definitely more my aesthetic. It's very neutral, very simplistic, very modern and stuff like that. So this right here is the contacts sheet. Erin Condren's was at the back, but I feel like it's kind of better to have it at the front because that's what you're going to see a lot. And then we have all these stickers at the front as well. So these stickers, they're not foiled. That's one thing about them that's different than the Erin Condren but I do love the look of these. They are so pretty. The color schemes are beautiful. It has some wood textures, some marbling textures, as well as some pink watercolor. I think it is beautiful. And then we also have a few different pages of like full boxes, different things, and then a huge page of little icons. I love all these little emoji or emoji. Sorry, the Coffee Monsters Co. has me always thinking about emojis, but emoji circle face things. They're super cute and they have some icons at the bottom as well. I think I am going to cut this out. They do include a little um, pocket thing here for you, but I don't really use those very often. So I'll probably end up cutting that out. But moving in to the July, you guys can see here that this is slightly different than the Erin Condren. Um, I believe people did mention that these squares are slightly larger, possibly. Let's see if I can find me a monthly kit here. We're just gonna take this guy. So this is a box here for a kit from my shop and I believe, uh, oh. Okay, well the width is fine. It's just the, okay, the uh, length is just like the slightest bit shorter. So that actually shouldn't be a problem. You can just kind of try to center that there as best as you can. Let's see what I can do here. Oh yeah, that's totally fine. I was under the impression that this was going to be like totally off, but I honestly think you could use Erin Condren kits in your recollections. So that is amazing. That was definitely one of the cons to this, but now that I know that my stickers from my shop, my monthly kits do fit in here, I'm very happy about that. So that is the recollections monthly. They do have the lines around the outside, which make me very happy. It just looks very clean, crisp, and simple, which I absolutely love. So moving in to this, this is completely different to the Erin Condren. I will show you guys them side by side in a second, but I quickly wanted to go over the um, pros and cons of this as well. So one thing that I absolutely love that I didn't think I would like is that they don't have any lines around each day, which I really, really do love in the end. There's one thing that's bad about it, which is that it's a little bit harder to line things up, but for the most part, it is pretty easy. You kind of just have to eyeball where your headers are because you guys can see here that they do have solid places for the headers. So you just have to line it up either with this header or this header, wherever you are putting it in the box and you should be good. So that is the one thing that I love is there's not too much constraints. So when you see this box here, there's not any dark lines. There's just your really, really light um, dotted line in between each day. So that's really awesome. And that means that the boxes fit perfectly here. You don't have the curved thing up here that you have to cover up. You don't have anything that you have to cover up, which is amazing. And it just looks a lot more open and gives your stickers space. So that is a positive. And then also at the bottom, you just have some light gray lines as well. And that is perfect for putting down washi. I didn't even have to white out anything down here. I just put down the washi, 
I put down this washi and it looked perfect. So that is that. And then also, this may be a positive to you and then this may be a negative, but they do not include the little monthly calendar down here, like in the Erin Condren, which is fine with me. I actually like it both ways, who knows? But the only other negative thing about this is that the date covers cannot be covered up as easily. So with the date covers that come in kits, they do normally only cover about this much space. And I feel like if you didn't white out the tops of these numbers, you might end up seeing it peek up at the top. So what I ended up doing here is I actually just colored in each of the numbers in black to make it match the spread a little bit better. Obviously, I think I'm gonna try to kind of coordinate the colors. So I could, for the month of July, pick some spreads that incorporated purple. And then moving into August, we could incorporate some of the blues and so on and so forth. So definitely that could be what I do. But like I mentioned, it's fine if you just colored in like this as well. I didn't do the best job coloring them in, but it still looks fine. And if anything, you could put date covers up here and just white out if you had better white out than myself because mine would just look like yellow blobs. So anyways, that I believe is everything about the weekly kind of layout here. I love the way this ended up looking. Overall, I do feel like this spread here is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to me just because I like to have room for my stickers to breathe. With the Erin Condren one, it did look a little bit squishy and kind of didn't make me as happy. So that is everything for the weekly stuff. And then we're gonna move to the back here. There's not actually as much stuff at the back as there was with the Erin Condren, but you just have a notes tab here and then it moves in to a bunch of notes pages. So with the Recollections Planner, they do put a lot of the extra pages up at the front and then they just give you the notes pages at the back. Whereas with the Erin Condren, they have a few pages at the front and then most of their stuff is at the back. So whether you like it at the front or the back really depends, but that is everything for the Recollections Planner. Okay, so we have both planners out again and we're just gonna quickly go through all of the things that I kind of wanted to compare with the two. So the first thing I would say is paper and with the paper, I definitely think that both planners have good paper. The only difference would be that the Recollections is a little bit thinner than the Erin Condren. The Erin Condren is a little bit thicker, but it does have a different texture. It's a little bit more of a like rough texture, I guess you could say. Um, the Recollections is more smooth. This has a little bit more texture and is almost like a construction paper type of texture, if you know what I mean. And then I also mentioned before that the Recollections Planner does have a little bit more of a white as opposed to an off-white. So you can see here, hopefully, with the difference in the colors. Oh yeah, you can definitely see. So this is definitely more of a bright white and then this is more of an off-white. This is a little bit more thicker and has a little bit more texture to it, whereas this is a little bit more thin and does have a smoother texture. So so overall with the paper, I do prefer the Erin Condren paper just because it is a little bit thicker and a little bit better quality. Moving on to printing quality. This was actually a surprise to me and Recollections actually won for me when it came to printing quality. I actually had a really, really close look at both of the planners and I do prefer the printing quality of the Recollections planner. It's a little just, I don't know, it's more crisp. It's hard to explain. Um, obviously the Erin Condren, they have darker lines, but if you do look really closely, I would definitely say that the words and stuff like that, I don't know if it's the font that they use, but it just looks to me like the Recollections a little bit more crisp than the Erin Condren. So when it came to printing quality, I said that the Recollections Planner won. Next up is a quick one, and that was style and aesthetic. I actually already said this, so you guys know that my winner was the Recollections Planner because I was able to pick the style of the inside out of a bunch of different styles. I could really pick something that I loved, the color scheme and just the overall look of the Recollections Planner that I picked I love so much more than the Erin Condren. 
Next up is the covers, which clearly Erin Condren wins for this, just because the covers are interchangeable. Also, they are customizable, and then I would say that the quality is just a little bit better with the Erin Condren. Um, the lamination is just a little bit thicker. But I will say that the Recollections Planner covers are really, really beautiful. You just have to pick one that you absolutely love because you are stuck with that one, unless you do a little DIY and make them interchangeable. Next up is Coil, which Erin Condren won this one again, and that is just because the coil is a little bit better quality. And then also you can change the color depending on your style. So Erin Condren is the winner for that one. Next up is stickers, which this one was very difficult. The stickers in the Erin Condren are at the back. So I will show you guys those. Obviously I already showed you them, but I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two sets of stickers. So with these stickers, they are obviously not foiled. Um, these ones are foiled clearly, but I, I do really love the aesthetic and the style of the Recollections stickers, but I would definitely prefer them if they had a little bit of foiling on them. So I think that Erin Condren wins in the sticker department because these are just freaking beautiful. Next one is the overall ease of planning. And I think I already said this, but the Recollections Planner was a lot, a lot easier to plan. There was just specific places for the headers. They fit perfectly. Um, also the full boxes fit perfectly. The washi fit perfectly. The sidebar was easy to use. And just overall, I thought it was a lot easier to plan in this planner. Um, and then when it came to the Erin Condren, the spacing is a little bit wonky when it comes to like where to put the headers and where to put the full boxes and stuff like that. And if you don't end up matching this up perfectly, then you just have to cover up the curve and it's just, it's a little bit awkward. So I would definitely say that the ease of planning would have to go to the Recollections Planner. Next up, I am putting two into one because the same planner won both of these, and that is both the notes pages and the monthly pages. That actually has maybe changed because I did discover that Erin Condren stickers do pretty much fit into the Recollections Planner. So I would actually say I do prefer the monthly layout in here just because it does have the lines around the entire calendar. But when it comes to notes pages, I would definitely say that the Erin Condren one, just because you get two full pages and it just is beautiful. So the next one is bleeding or ghosting. And when I say that, I mean when you write on a spread, if it bleeds or ghosts, that means that you can see it on the other side. Bleeding would be where the ink actually comes through to the other side, which both planners had absolutely no bleeding. But when it comes to ghosting, you can just kind of like see it faintly. And both planners actually did really, really well. I thought because the Erin Condren paper was thicker that this one you could definitely see more. But with both of them, you can virtually see absolutely no ghosting. I don't know if you guys can see anything in the camera that I can't see in person, but I don't see anything. So I definitely said that these both had really, really good results when it came to bleeding and ghosting, so I did do a tie for that one. So in the end, you guys can see that they were both pretty close when it came to results. I would say that if it came to purely just quality, Erin Condren would definitely win, but that is a given because it is more expensive. But when it came to style and ease of planning and just how the spread ended up looking, I would definitely say that the Recollections won, which actually surprised me a lot, but I'm so happy I purchased this planner. I would definitely recommend it to anyone that is on a budget, but if you do love sticking to the Erin Condren, I would definitely recommend that as well. So that is everything for this comparison video. I loved doing this. I took notes, really did my research and planned in both of them. And I absolutely love how both of them ended up turning out, but they both ended up turning out very differently. And I felt very diff differently as I was planning in each of them. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Hopefully this video is not too, too long. You guys know how much I love talking, but I will try to, when I edit this, to edit it down 
pretty short, but we will see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other planners that you guys would like me to do comparisons on. If you know a planner, definitely let me know down below if I should check it out. Also, let me know down below in the comments which one of these two you guys prefer and subscribe if you have yet to do so. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.